I'm Femke Heemskerk and I'm from the Netherlands. So Femke, you've just heard all the prospects for 2019. How excited by that are you? I'm really excited. Uh, I already tasted a little bit of the 2017 edition and I really, I really liked it uh, because it was almost more than swimming and uh, I think our sport deserves something like this. Where do you think swimming stands at the moment in terms of profile and where could it go to? I think um, it's a little bit hidden, a hidden sport, like a sport we, we just like to see once a year when it's Olympic Games and uh, uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a little bit hidden, yeah. a hidden diamond actually. <laughs> the prospects for it though, because of the, the great people within the sport and I know from dealing with the people in the sport what, what great people they are, perhaps that doesn't come across so much on the TV or, or maybe the media isn't doing enough to make that. Yeah, I think there are uh, more f uh, factors uh, for that. Yeah, but yeah, it's 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 difficult to to put that in one line. I think. Because you're quite high profile. You're very high profile in, in Holland, um, but obviously compared to, to some other sports, swimming has to battle with with football and, and a few other things. Uh, do you sometimes sit there and go, why don't I get more exposure, why don't I get more publicity in the, in the newspapers, on TV? Uh, well, in the Netherlands it's also a different story. We are very down-to-earth people. So, for example, if Madonna would walk the street, there will be a few people who turn their head and say, oh, nice, that's Madonna. But, for example, if Madonna would walk in Italy, it's a totally different story. So, I think, uh, from my country, it, we're too much down-to-earth to profile a superstar or something. But on the other hand, when uh, they show a swimming race, they, they show the start and the finish. They don't show the beauty of the tactic of the race. Or it's, it's very often that people tell me, like, it's never on TV. Like, I, I, can, never, I can never see her. Or they ask me, can I follow you on TV on wh which channel? And I was like, no, it's not on TV. It's just the online scoreboard. Yeah. Do you also find that people don't really know what you do to get to that stage in terms of the work you have to do, the amount of meters you have to do every week? Well, uh, they made a documentary about us following uh, uh, five swimmers of the Netherlands uh, towards Rio. And uh, it was very well received because uh, it opened a lot of eyes of a lot of people. So uh, I think all the people who saw that documentary know what, what it takes, but not everyone saw it, obviously. So. So what difference will it make to you individually to have the ISL next year and, and going forward for a few years? Well, I think the, the main part is, um, the most important part for me is, I think it's a lot of fun. Like, I experienced it in 2017 and it, it, was, it was a great competition. And second, of course, uh, I also need to buy a house or maybe uh, fund the, my children's, uh, future children, uh, schools and stuff. So. Uh, when I see how many, how much money other uh, sport federations make in other sports, then sometimes, and like everyone is telling me, like you train so hard, and the, and the soccer players they they earn so much money, and I know it's a different league because there are children in Africa wearing a T-shirt of Messi, you know, it, it's that big. So I think we cannot yet uh, compare soccer to swimming, but for sure swimming has to be more uh, rewarded. Yeah, for sure. How much could it extend the career of a swimmer for with this kind of competition? Well, I think a lot because I think also a lot of people stop because they, they can't fund their homes or their, their, they have to work aside and they know they can't really work aside a swimming career because it requires a lot of training. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 I think it can be a lot. Yeah. What, what events do you plan to do? Do you plan doing different events than the ones you normally do just, just to maybe change things up a bit? No, I do uh, 50, 123, and I start to like the 53 a lot more. But in the in, in the other competition, the World Cup, for example, I did also some side events like a 403 or a 2 and I, I, I am. So uh, I'm not restricted to just the freestyle events. I, I like to do everything, but my main events will stay forever, 50, 123. Yeah. How much are you looking forward to the skills? I've never done it, so I have to do it before I retire. <laughs> I suggest 2019. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much indeed.